In this tutorial, we're gonna learn three easy methods on how to avoid the chain three gap at the beginning of the row. Here I have a sample in double crochet and um, every pattern or ask uh, to begin the second row and the rows before with a chain three at the beginning and then uh, the first uh, double crochet uh, we have to make it in the second stitch so the first chain three counting as a stitch and this is uh, in the theory but in this way uh, these gaps uh, appears at the beginning of uh, the row and is not very aesthetical and if you want to uh, sew the edges like uh, I don't know if you make a sweater or you want to add an edge yeah these gaps will be even bigger and maybe the first thing that you have in mind is to not count the uh, chain three as a stitch and make your first double crochet in this first stitch but in this way uh, the edges of your rows will be uh, a little outside and uh, your work your project uh, won't have uh, straight edges so this is um, not a good method to avoid this gap so um, in this tutorial i'm gonna show you uh, three methods simple methods on how you can avoid uh, this gap and have a beautiful and uh, straight square like this one so in this sample i used uh, all the three methods I changed the colors so you can see even better where one method begins and one where ends. So the first uh, method that I uh, I used, uh, you'll see that with all three methods, the edges are straight, and we won't have uh, the gap at the beginning of the row. So on the first um, method, so at the end of the row, just chain one and not three, and then pull the loop that you have on your hook uh, a little higher, make it bigger. As uh, with the chain one, you will have, uh, you'll reach the same high as a double crochet. And then, beginning with the first stitch, make your first double crochet. So you make your first double crochet in the first stitch, and then continue with one double crochet in each stitch across. So this is the first method. By uh, chaining only one and then uh, pull, pulling up uh, the loop, you won't uh, have the gap because you work in the first stitch also and or chaining only one and having a loop you won't have uh, uh, those bumping edges uh, either so it's a great me method because uh, basically uh, resolve the problem that uh, we discuss here so the gap um, at the beginning of the row and also by chaining three and uh, at the beginning of the row and then continue with uh, the second stitch basically the last stitch you'll have to make it in the uh, third chain of the turning three stitches chain so with this method basically you will make the uh, last stitch in this v stitch here because we work in the very first stitch so it would be more easier if you are a beginner not to uh, lose the last stitches and uh, your project have chances to uh, keep it straight from the beginning to the end 
and uh, you'll also uh, don't ha have this uh, gap at the beginning of the row so it's a great method you can use it um, the only disadvantage that I see at this method is if that you forget to pull the loop up maybe it won't look the same okay now the second method after you finish the row you don't have to chain anything just turn and make one single crochet in the first stitch and then chain one and basically this will be the first double crochet and then we will continue with the uh, one double crochet across so instead of chaining three we will make this single crochet and chain one and in this way the base will be a little bigger and uh, this stitch will look uh, will, will look more like a double crochet so in this way uh, having a base bigger uh, it won't be the gap uh, between the two the first two stitches uh, also on this method remains the um, impediment of the last stage because you will have to do it in this chain one of the uh, this turning turning stitch so it might be difficult to find uh, the chain one just to make your last double crochet but it, i think it is easier it is easier than um, with a chain three so one more time so just turn a work don't chain anything make one single crochet and one chain stitch in the first stitch and this will be our first double crochet and then we will continue with the double crochet across so these are the first two methods in this method also you will see some little gaps at the beginning of the row these uh, are because of the chaining one but uh, you see that they aren't so big as uh, the chain three gap so it's a better method and you can use it to have straight edges and to avoid the three chain three gap okay so now that we have the two methods I want to show you the third one that is my uh, favorite and I found it very simple to do this and I use uh, this method all the time basically after finishing your first your last row you'll only chain two instead of three and then we will begin to make our first double crochet in the first stitch so this chain 2 won't count as a stitch is uh, similar with the first me method because we work in the first stitch but uh, we won't have to just instead of pulling the loop higher we just make one, uh, one chain more and as you see uh, the edges are straight so and we don't have the gap at the beginning of, of the row and I found this method so simple because after you're working and working and working you, you know, get so used to it in, and uh, you don't figure out that you make something different is uh, just transforming in the way that you work your projects and will be um, very very simple to get used to this and basically this uh, method is uh, can be used with any stage um, so if in theory we will have to chain two for the half double crochet three for the double crochet four for the triple crochet with this method we will just chain with one uh, chain stitch less and it's done um, so as you see with all three methods the edges are straight 
and our sample, our square looks uh, better than, than uh, with the first method. Um, and uh, I'm uh, so happy with these three methods and I hope that we will help you to um, make your project look better and better and uh, you as a crocheter uh, became better and better. And as you see in this uh, third method, I don't know, maybe because I'm uh, so used to, to it, but I think that uh, the rows are looking better. Uh, even better than the other two method and it's so simple just chaining two instead of chaining three and make uh, the first double crochet in the first stitch so and also have the advantage that you won't have to uh, find and um, waste time finding the third stitch of the of the turning chain so here is our first sample with these gaps or these uh, uneven uh, edges and this uh, and the other one is the square with straight edges. <laughs> 